We are looking at some uh, dry weather right now. Might find a sprinkle over the next hour or so, but I think for the most part we're going to be dry. I actually have a pretty good week ahead. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. I'm not looking at anything, at least in our immediate area, but a little green specks right in here across northeastern Connecticut. A little sprinkle or two may swing on through. So for tonight, Threat tracker is low. Same for Monday, same for Tuesday. I'm not expecting any severe weather anytime soon, but it was severely cooler than it was yesterday at this time. 12 degrees cooler uh, than 24 hours ago. Again, the high yesterday, 77. Today, only 61. And that wind made it feel a little chillier as well. The clouds are already beginning to melt away. We've got some uh, cloudiness. We've got some sunshine. I think we're going to be uh, looking at those clouds melting away. A little bit more in the way of sun down here in Newport. Live pictures over Newport Harbor. 54 in Newport, 55 in New Bedford, 57 in Taunton and in Warwick on Route 2. A little chilly there, 54 with these winds from the northwest at 7. Had a wind gust of 32 miles an hour over there on Route 2. You can see all of this uh, shower activity trying to come on through. All of this is already beginning to quiet down. They've actually had some snow up there in northern Vermont, New Hampshire. Reports of Franconia Notch seeing some snow. Top of Mount Washington and it's snowing. Nothing like that, that down here. But we could be seeing a touch of a freeze late in the night tonight. Here's how it all plays out. Overnight, those skies will be clearing out. 8 o'clock in the morning, we're starting off with some sunshine. And we're going to have a fair amount of sun through the day. A few clouds from time to time. 5 o'clock in the evening, we're dry for tomorrow. 11 o'clock tomorrow evening, we are still dry. Take a look at the temperatures during the overnight hours. They'll be falling into the upper 30s in Providence. But north and west of the city, Pasco, for instance, could be down to 36 degrees. That's at about 6 feet high uh, off the ground. Uh, right at the ground level, there could be a, a touch of a, a freeze late in the night tonight. If you have any plants that don't like a freeze, you may want to cover them up, bring them inside. That's for communities like North Smithfield, Barville, Foster, Gloucester, maybe West Greenwich and Coventry, any uh, sheltered valleys in those areas. That's where you could find that freeze. So for tonight, we're looking at the skies clearing out. Temperatures will be bottoming out in the upper 40s. Think we'll be dry through the night. A morning commute tomorrow. We're looking at sunshine. It'll be chilly, about 45 degrees uh, during the morning commute. The kids will need the uh, light jacket in the morning. In the afternoon, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s across the area. About 57 degrees in Johnston with some gusty west northwesterly winds. Upper 50s, lower 60s over in southeastern Massachusetts as well. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Now on Tuesday, it's going to be a little bit warmer. We're going to start the day with some sunshine. We'll find some extra clouds arriving through the day, about uh, 67 degrees by early evening. And then for Wednesday, it gets a little bit cooler. We are watching the potential of some rain showers. In fact, I think Wednesday is the best chance of seeing any rain this week. Uh, it's not going to be a washout, but a few showers are possible and with the extra cloud cover and uh, wind off the water. We could be looking at some cooler temperatures as well. Don't worry. Warmer weather returns for Thursday and right through next weekend, upper 60s and lower 70s. So we are looking at overall a nice stretch of weather for the upcoming week. Thanks, Yanni. TJ, coming up in sports, <laughs> Eyewitness News at 630, another wild day of